Hi there, in the following video I will show you how to answer question 7 of the June 2008 OCR Call 4 Maths A Level Pass Paper. The question is on solving differential equations. Let's take a look. It says if y is cosec x, show dy by the x is as follows for 3 marks. Follow your nose in these type of questions. State that y is cosec x. Well, what does cosec x mean? Well, that means uh, 1 divided by sine x. Or writing that in index form, y is sine x all to the power of minus 1. Now, this is not, 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 not to be confused with sine to the minus 1x, which is inverse sine. Okay, this is inverse sine. And they're not the same. This means 1 divided by sine. Now, how do we differentiate this? Well, we use the chain rule. If we want to differentiate the following, we bring the minus 1 uh, power down, minus 1. We multiply by the differential of the brackets, which is cos x. And then we reduce uh, the power of the, bracket, uh, of the thing in the brackets by 1. And we would get as follows. Now, writing that out back again in non-index form, we would have minus cos x on top. And on the bottom, we would have a sine x and a sine x. Okay, now you can think of this now. I'm just going to write this as uh, minus 1 over sine x multiplied by cos x over sine x. And we're virtually there now because 1 over sine x is cosec x. So minus 1 over sine x is minus cosec x. And cos x divided by sine x is cot x. And we have our answer for dy by dx. So dy by dx is as given in the question. OK, let's move on to part two. It asks us to solve the following differential equation. So how do I solve these? Well, as always, in these particular cases, I separate variables and integrate. So I'm going to have everything to do with x on the left-hand side, everything to do with t on the right. How will I do that? Divide both sides by minus sine x tan x and multiply both sides by the dt and then integrate. Here we go. I would get 1 divided by minus sine x tan x, okay, dx. And that would all be equal to cot uh, t dt. And I would integrate both sides. Okay, well this thing here, if I just think about this, this is simply minus cosec x cot x dx, the integral of, and this thing here is the integral of cos t over sine t with respect to t. Now, uh, this looks very confusing as an integration, so I'm a bit stuck. I need to think, uh, how can I use part 1? If I know that if I've got y is cosec x and I differentiate it, I get this. Going backwards, integrating this, I, mu I must get this. So the integral of this must be, using part 1, cosec x with a constant, which I'll take care of on the right-hand side. Now, how do I integrate this? Well, is the top the differential of the bottom? Yes, cos t is the differential of sine t, and anything of that form is a ln answer when you integrate. So this is ln, the expression on the bottom, of sine t, ln of sine t, and now I'm going to take care of my constant by adding in my constant at that point. Now, that's the general solution of this differential equation. I want the particular solution because they've given me some boundary conditions. They've told me that when x is pi by 6, uh, t is pi by 2. So let's substitute that in. On this side, cosec of pi by 6. Well, sine of pi by 6 is uh, a half. So cosec must be 1 over a half, which is 2. And we know that sine of pi by 2 is 1, and ln of 1 is 0. So this tells us straight away our constant of integration is 2. And hence the general solution, is, or the particular solution even, is cosec x must be equal to ln 
of the modulus of sine of t plus the constant of integration, which is 2. I hope you found the following useful in your revision for core 4 differential equations. Thank you for watching.